You wouldn't believe the amount of messages I get. And I'm talking long-winded emails about, Adam, help me. What bike should I get? I'm this tall. I ride these trails. I ride this track. I'm this kind of person. It's almost beyond motorcycling. It's like marriage counseling or something. And it's really not that difficult, right? The first thing you should always go by when choosing a bike is what do you actually want to ride? Irrespective of stats on paper, how fit you are, what color suits you better, what terrain you're in, it should just be what do you want to feel when you turn that throttle? Are you all about power? Are you all about stability? tread lightly, safe. There are so many factors that are out there confusing people when they buy the bike, when in reality, a bike is just a stationary object when you're not using it. So like the look of it, like the color of it. If you have some connection with the brand, go with that, steer that way, put all the marketing specs out the window. Just start with what do you actually want to hand your money over for and feel good about it regardless of what anyone else is telling you or whether technically it's the right decision? I know so many people that have bought motorcycles based on what they've been told they should do. Here's my advice, right? If you're committed to going to a local dealership, that's fine. But just do a bit of research about who's actually selling the bikes. If the salesmen in this shop aren't actively riding the motorcycles they're selling. They're not going to be able to give you an accurate translation of what you should be buying. They're going to be inclined to sell you the model that they need to push to clear stocks, right? Now, not all dealerships will be like this. If you're a beginner, sure, 254 stroke as an adult is the perfect bike to start anyone on. If you're experienced and don't ride that much, but just want to treat riding like a bit more of a hit, then two strokes in a lot of ways win hands down there. As an analogy, you can get a harder and faster hit from a two stroke in a shorter space of time riding than in some ways you will a four stroke because they are a more aggressive natured machine. And it, it all comes back to what kind of riding do you want? What kind of bike do you want sitting in your shed if you can have just one? If your riding is all competition based, then that's going to steer you towards the bike that's going to allow you to ride at your best for the longest. Motocross, Supercross and even Enduro, a lot of the big results, the big wins, the big championships have been four-stroke models because they've been able to retain tractable, consistent drive, but yet push it to outright high performance. So a lot of the Japanese manufacturers signed off from the two-stroke game a long, well over a decade ago. The Europeans never stopped. There's always been this desire to have two strokes. There's almost half the engine components inside a two stroke as opposed to a four stroke. So you're already at a weight advantage with any two stroke, but they are a very demanding machine. A two stroke is much happier when it's in attack mode. Four stroke technology has enabled the outright performance and speed, but delivered in a more manageable package for the average rider and you put that package in the hands of a pro and they're going to surpass two-stroke riders. A four-stroke engine is so much more of a harmonic stationary motor when you're not revving the shit out of it. Its application to less aggressive riding will suit a lot of people. The torque off the bottom is generally higher just through sheer inertia of the rotating parts. So they are an easier bike to teach someone to ride on as opposed to the you know, lackey band effect of two strokes can be a little tricky. You can be forced into shit. What kind of rider am I if I really haven't ridden that much and I'm going to go and outlay you know up to ten thousand dollars plus on a machine what do I do in my time and how I grew up riding once you could ride a two-stroke from 80 cc to a 125 cc you can ride anything once you've conquered the two-stroke engine a four-stroke is just gonna be perpetually easier and enjoyable a lot of guys I used to race with as well 
every season would change it up. They'd spend a year on a four-stroke and by the end of the race season be all four-stroked out. Great results, rode really well, progressing with their abilities, but going into the off-season to be back on that same rumbling motor and grinding out the laps for training, you want something to, you know, reinvigorate your whole experience. Just changing it up if you've had your first bike and you've really enjoyed it and you're thinking oh i'm ready to upgrade you've been on a 250f or something try a, a 250cc two-stroke there's plenty of electric start models out there now you can tone them down with gearing there's a lot of little tweaks you can do to personalize and at the end of the day a motorcycle only goes as fast as you make it it's not really that much of a big deal just Get on a bike and ride it and enjoy it. There shouldn't be any regrets on have I made the right decision. You've got two wheels and a motor. Make use of it. Enjoy the experience. You're going to become a better rider for it. If it wasn't the ideal bike for you at the time, you will learn. And then when you get onto something that you really gel with, you're going to just appreciate it so much more. Don't overthink it. I'm going to show you something, some never before seen footage that will put a bit of perspective on this, right? Let me just bring it up. 2019, we got Chucky. He's over for his episode of The Dirt Kitchen. He's laid down the fastest time ever. What I'm going to reveal to you guys now, yes, the fastest official two-stroke time is Dizzy Porter on an RM250, but the fastest unofficial time is actually Chucky on the CR. Yes, this happened in 2019. We couldn't show you the footage because he was under contract through Husqvarna Australia. Guess what? Now you're going to see Chucky's hot lap on the CR. <laughs> needs to be said two minutes 44 chucky was one second slower on my old cr than he was a current model at the time fe501 two stroke four stroke end of story don't forget to subscribe to my channel a reman one uh, hit the notification bell so you know when i upload and if you want to see uh, chucky's episode of the dirt kitchen Check out this video right here. Next week, I've got a fresh episode coming at you. Local West Aussie gun. I think you're going to love it. See you soon. Cheers.